Hello there, I'm Mrs. Jenkins. Let's look today at operations with polynomials. Particularly, we're going to look at multiplying polynomials, and we're going to use what's called the FOIL method. Now, the FOIL method is used when you're multiplying together two binomials. Binomials like a plus b and c plus d. When we multiply these two binomials together, we're actually going to be doing a lot of distributing. We're going to start by multiplying together our first two terms, and that f for first is the first letter in FOIL. It shows the distribution that's going on when you multiply your first two terms. Then you'll multiply that a times that d, and that's distributing and multiplying together your outer two terms. Then we'll distribute the b, b times c, and that's our inner two terms, the i in FOIL. The last thing we have to distribute is b times d, and that's when you multiply together your last two terms. So the FOIL method is simply an acronym that helps you remember to distribute four times when you're multiplying together two binomials. Now let's do it with an example, not just a bunch of variables. We'll start by multiplying together our first two terms. x times x will give me x squared. When I multiply x times negative 6, I multiply in my outer two terms, and I get negative 6x. Multiplying my inner two terms, the i is 3 times x, positive 3x. Then I'll multiply together my last two terms, 3 times negative 6, and that's negative 18. Now I can combine together any like terms, and oftentimes your outers and your inners here will go ahead and combine, giving us our final answer, x squared minus 3x, because negative 6x plus 3x will combine to be negative 3x minus 18 and that would be the product of these two binomials. Taking a look at one last example here, I want you to work through it. Work through this using the FOIL method. First, outer, inner, last. When you've gotten your answer, click Continue at the bottom of the screen. When we multiply together our first two terms here, you should have gotten y squared. Then we'll multiply together our outer two terms, giving us negative 7y. When we multiply our inner two terms together, we get plus 4y. And our last two terms, 4 times 7 is 28, but that will be negative there. So this is what we should have gotten, but once again we can combine the negative 7y and the positive 4y. So the final answer will be y squared minus 3y minus 28. I hope that's what you got in working through that problem as well. You did good work on those problems and looking at the FOIL method. If you need any more help on your algebra homework, sign up for Nutshell Math. I hope to see you there.